you can count on. KOAT Action 7 News. More in the morning starts right now. Good morning, New Mexico. I'm Christine Pay. Thank you for watching Action 7 News. More in the morning. Well, it is day eight of the 47th annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. It has been so fantastic thus far. Well, it's going to be a very busy day at Balloon Fiesta. The Dawn Patrol show is happening probably at this very minute. It's going to be followed by the Krispy Kreme Morning Glow and Laser Light Show at 6.30. Then that mass ascension is scheduled at 7 o'clock. The Chainsaw Carving Invitational will begin at 8.30. Well, during events, you can get all the information you need with our KOAT Fiesta Tracker app, from streaming video of our live coverage to weather and traffic updates. Just search KOAT Balloon in your smartphone app market. Well, in the fight for a seat in the U.S. Senate, the three men who want to represent you faced off right here in our KOET studio. So now, where does this leave the candidates for the rest of the way? Our very own political analyst says each person came in with a clear goal. Action 7 News reporter Chris Guardaro breaks down what they were trying to accomplish. The KOAT Albuquerque Journal debate Friday night reveals the strategies of the three candidates going forward. President Trump was in Ohio last night. It was his third campaign rally this week as we are just 25 days away from the midterm elections. Action 7 News reporter Matt Pritchard breaks down the details from our exclusive Washington newsroom. Christine, no shortage of topics for President Trump last night as a busy week at the White House wrapped up in front of supporters. With midterms on the horizon, President Trump has hit the campaign trail hard this week. Live from Balloon Fiesta, this is KOAT Action 7 News. More in the morning. Good morning, New Mexico. It is 7 o'clock. Thank you so much for waking up with Action 7 News. More in the morning. It is time for the mass ascension at the 2018 Balloon Fiesta. So, Byron, day eight is looking great. I know, and we are so excited because this could be one of the best mornings we've seen so far. And why not happen on a Saturday? There we go. You can see that the flag is flying above Balloon Fiesta Park right now, and it appears that balloon is drifting slowly in perhaps a southerly direction. It's hard to tell exactly the perspective there, but either way, it is looking fantastic for Mass Ascension this morning. It's looking so brilliant. You know, I went for the very first time a couple days ago, Thursday, for the Special Shapes yeah. Rodeo, and it was so wonderful. I loved it. It was something else to really see it in person. Another person who is going to be seeing it for the very first time <laughs> very is excited. Action 7 News reporter Justin Matthews. Yep. He is live at Balloon Fiesta Park. So good morning, Justin. The balloons are coming to life right now. Absolutely coming to life. And as you just mentioned, this is my first balloon fiesta. So I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. The teardrops are going up and uh, we've been seeing just a lot of them right now. And, and there is Humpty um, Dumpty. Off the Humpty? wall, I believe. Off or no, the wall, Hump okay. Humpty Dumpty is the upside down one. I yeah, think. one of them. Either way, um, great views. Sky 7 pilot Neil Lawson, thank you for capturing these awesome views. It looks like most of the balloons right now hovering right over the Rio Grande. We're in the middle of that crowd. There she is. So <laughs> Sasha, good morning. Is. Who do you have with Taking you now? Taking a seat. <laughs> this is Alan and his group of cousins here enjoying Balloon Fiesta. It's not his first time. He's a veteran here at Balloon Fiesta. So Alan, tell me, what is your favorite balloon? No, we're not. Uh, the cap. So Christine, what's your question? Yeah, so could you ask Mayor Tim Keller about what kind of economic impact this event has in Albuquerque? I mean, it's such a huge international event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Christine's asking the, the, just about the economic impact, of course, mm -hmm. that we ha that this has on Albuquerque. What an amazing event this is and how great it is for Albuquerque. Can you kind of talk on that for me? Sure, you know, this is Albuquerque at its best, and we also get a return on that investment. So there's roughly a million visitors who come all in, uh, just under a million each year, and they bring in roughly $300 million in economic impact. 